Hey peeps, if you have not heard about Anchor, it's the easiest way to make a podcast. Let me explain. It's free. First and foremost, it's free. doesn't cost you anything. There's creation tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or your computer, your laptop, or your pad. Anchor will then distribute these podcasts, no fee, everywhere. Spotify, Google, Apple Podcasts anywhere. You can make money from your podcast with no minimum listenership. It's everything you need to make a podcast in one place. Download the free app today, Anchor, A-N-C-H-O-R, or go to Anchor, A-N-C-H-O-R dot F-M to get started. You will have fun. Good day. Welcome to Rocking the Gray Matter with Doc Grigsby. That's me. This is where we will view the world through the lens of life and interaction, hopefully applying some common sense, empathy, and intelligent reasoning. The world is a crazy place. Let's explore together. Hey peeps, welcome to the neighborhood, I hope all is well, it is July 16th, 2020, you are listening to Rocking the Gray Matter with Doc Grigsby, that would be me, today I am stealing and giving credit to my title from uh, a meditation that I was doing this morning. My morning ritual consists of yoga and meditation. I'm not good at either one, but I enjoy them. And the title of the meditation was Resolve to Evolve. So giving credit to Yoga with Adrienne, which you should definitely check out if you're into yoga. Um, I I was inspired by this meditation for all kinds of reasons. I'm sure that it was designed for, you know, moving from old to new, moving on, new beginnings, that kind of stuff. And while most people probably would relate that to maybe a, a bad job or a bad relationship, it inclined me to think of our current situation with the COVID virus, COVID-19 to be exact. So resolve to evolve. I immediately had to kind of uh, push pause for a minute and, and jot some stuff down. Why? Why are we going to talk about this? Well, because things are changing and uh, evolving. So I guess the first thing we need to talk about are probably some definitions because, you know, that's kind of what I do. Resolve. Resolve is a verb, and verb is an action, which means action is required for this to happen. According to dictionary.com, resolve means to deal with or to come to a definite decision. Okay? What are we dealing with? Well, we're dealing with the fact that our new normal doesn't look anything like our old normal. And we may not see that old normal back to normal. We may not ever see that. At least for the foreseeable future, we may not ever see that. So we have to evolve. Evolve by definition also is a verb requiring action. To develop gradually. To gradually change one's opinions or beliefs. Nowhere in that definition Does it say that this is going to happen overnight? Are we going to wake up or wiggle our nose and things be back to normal? No, probably not. 
our current situation most of the country the vast majority 90 plus percent i think there's only three or four states that are not affected by the increased amounts of cases of covid hospitals being overrun icus full it's almost like march all over again many states uh, have mandated uh, mandatory mask many of our large large retail corporations uh, walmart and sam's club mandates that you wear a mask or you won't be served best buy kroger i think starts wednesday and this is this is uh corporate wide this is not just region wise wide some states have actually rolled back to to either phase one or even shutting back down. This is where we are. We're not going to haggle over why this is where we are, but nonetheless, this is where we are. Schools, we don't know what's going to happen with them, virtual or not. Most likely, many are going virtual. Some people may lose their jobs all over again. Salons, gyms, restaurants. We feel for those people, sure. Absolutely. But this is a new normal. Another poignant piece in this meditation was honor the ending. To me, that was a very powerful statement. Honor the ending. So again, definition. Honor is a noun that means high respect, worth, and merit. Honor the ending. The ending of what? <laughs> the ending of our old normal. So let's think about what our old normal looked like. I know it's been a few months, but let's go back there for just a hot minute. Let's talk about traveling to work, congested, busy interstates and highways, parking issues, work issues, administration issues. Our salons and gyms were open. Our gyms were crowded with sweaty, stinky people, which we enjoyed, by the way. Obviously, we, would, we wouldn't have gone had we not. Our salons were open so our hair looked better and nails and skin. Our restaurants were bustling, our bars were bustling. We were celebrating, remember those days when we celebrated stuff? Fourth of July, Memorial Day, sports events, yeah. So that's the old normal because it's becoming increasingly dangerous to engage in those activities again honor the ending but you say no no it's not over yet and it might not be yet is the key word because we don't know what the future holds many of our intelligent people are telling us that this this fall this fall and winter of 2021 is going to be horrific between the flu and the increased cases of covid it could be catastrophic it's going to be a public health uh, issue like we have never seen. That's serious. So we're going to honor the ending. The ending of our normal as we once knew it. The last piece of this meditation was every ending is a new beginning. I know that sounds a little kumbaya but think about it. Every ending is a new beginning. So, what is this new beginning going to look like? Well, let's think about that. We're definitely going to be socially distant. So, crowded arenas, bars and restaurants, and social gatherings and celebratory events, probably not. Wearing a mask is going to be like wearing a pair of shoes when you go into a store. 
our learning K through 12 and college most likely for the most part will be virtual I know parents I know and students I understand but this is going to be our new beginning our home office that we have temporarily set up on the kitchen table you might want to think about the, making that a little more semi-permanent so now here we go you're, you're, you're frustrated you are sick to death of the kids they're up your butt you can't get anything done you're cooped in a house with people that you're tired of you don't want to go to school online because you don't learn online and parents you don't want to be responsible for your kids because you're not a teacher and people working at home you're tired of zoom meetings I got you I totally understand where you're coming from but this is the new normal at least for a while so let's make the most of it let's think about those times back back in the day in March when we were traveling to work and bitching about the traffic and oh my god how long it took me to get to work and home and by the time I got home I'm tired and stressed and I don't feel like cooking so I'm gonna stop by the local whatever and get a pizza I've been gone 10 hours I get home and the kids are wanting this that and the other and and the other half wants to eat and the next thing you know it's it's like bedtime and I've got nothing done by the end of the week you're tired you're stressed you're pissed off and that was your new normal or that was your old normal <coughs> Wow I don't know if I want to go back to that old normal you know now you're sick to death of being at the house and the kids up your butt and you can't get out and you feel like a caged animal I definitely understand you so let's make the most of this situation let's think about the good things that are gonna happen with this new beginning you're gonna spend time with your family yes but you need to make that time valuable learning with the kids communicating with the family creative ways to interact or better yet creative ways to separate to distance where you don't have to be up each other's butt that home office doesn't just have to be for a zoom meeting doesn't just have to be for reports be creative I'm sure you have something to say I'm sure you have an opinion on something write it down start a blog write it down it doesn't have to go anywhere nobody even has to see it but just start a blog and post this stuff and just get it out there make a video nobody has to see it if you don't want to make a video be creative start a podcast this is our new normal this is our every ending is a new beginning and this new beginning is here to stay for a while at least through the end of 2020 and most likely into 2021 <coughs> so let's make the most of it let's let's say goodbye to the old normal let's honor the ending let's resolve to evolve let's deal with the old and gradually accept the new and understand that every ending is a new beginning a couple weeks into this COVID thing in March it was probably April I guess because it was about mid-March when all of the higher education went uh, online and that was fine we were busy for a minute but then when the spring classes ended I got stir crazy because if I'm not busy I, I get really anxious and I'm not an anxious person we were right in the middle of this COVID-19 thing so we weren't going out we weren't doing anything so I decided that I was gonna have to do something or I was gonna lose my mind 
So I went out to the garage and dusted off the old stationary bike and I brought it in the house and I slapped on a YouTube video and I just started cycling. I didn't do this every day, of course, but then I started to like it. Then I thought, wow, I just, you know, I, I feel good. This is cool. So I actually upgraded and bought a spin bike and now I'm like doing it every night. Am I good at it? Mm -mm, nope, not good at it at all, but I enjoy it and I feel good and I feel better. I started doing yoga again. First time I hated it. Second time I don't love it, but it makes me feel good. I've always meditated, but this time around I've really tried to mindfully meditate and think about what's going on inside my head because it's crazy up there. I journal. I write stuff down. I blog because I've got something to say. So we can do this. It doesn't take anything to exercise and get up. You can get up and just run in place. If your kids have a trampoline, play on the trampoline. If you have a bicycle, ride around the block. Easy peasy. YouTube is free. No, we can't go to our favorite restaurants, and no, we shouldn't be eating McDonald's every night, so this means we're going to have to think of creative, healthy ways for us to eat. Because when you eat healthy, you're going to be healthy, and your mind's going to be healthy. Find a way to be creative. This is a new time. This is a new beginning. We have to honor the old, but move on, evolve into the new. And the new is changing every day, so who knows what it's going to look like come Christmas. Resolve to evolve. Honor the ending. Every ending is a new beginning. As always, peeps, I appreciate you showing up. If you have any thoughts, please don't hesitate to leave them in the comments. As always, I wish you peace. I wish you health. I wish you safety. Until next time.